All right, hey guys, so today I um, finally got my um, wax seals that I've been waiting for. They're like the Harry and Potter inspired ones. Um, what am I doing here? What is this? Okay, I did want to show you a couple things though, because in the last video um, for a bunch of wax items that I had done, I'll have the link for you guys because it's uh, a ton of stuff. Um, you can check that video out. Uh, I mentioned some different things about using like dried flowers and stuff like that you can trap like inside the wax as you're stamping with it. I did want to show you these wax, uh, these wax, <laughs> these flowers that I purchased. They're supposed to be a set of three or three different ones and I only got two and even on the packaging it says there's only two in here but I ordered three from these people so I'm waiting still for the dispute but I'm sure I'll get my money back or AliExpress will release the money back to me. But I wanted to show you how big these are. This is not what I was expecting at all. Like these are legit real flowers, but they're huge. So if you see these on Ali and you think, oh, I want that for a certain project, just know that they're full size pansies or whatever this flower is, you know? So I guess you can take maybe leaf by leaf and put one petal in your um, wax seal. I'll think about that. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys how to do that in this video. I don't know. Um, what other thing? Oh. <laughs> I saw this. This is only a dollar fifty-two from shop four four one eight one one two. So if you can find that, good luck. But that's the name of the store. And when I was looking at wax seals, I was like, oh, remember those rings? Like back in the day, they would have a ring and they would stamp, you know, with it or whatever. So this came up as a wax seal ring, but I think it's just supposed to be a seal. I don't think it's a wax ring because if you want to put this into your wax, it should be backwards. Do you know what I'm saying? The words should be backwards on here and they are legit what it's supposed to say so this one even though it looks like a wax seal this is hogwarts super cute um if you stamp that into your wax the words are going to be backwards so the words should be backwards on this the image should be flipped on this so that when you stamp it into your seal but it's still cute and i just got a size eight and it was super cheap so kind of fun little ring there um maybe i'll wear it throughout this video that'd be fun so there it is let me rip that tag off Super cute, super inexpensive. I'm sure it'll start acting funny or rusting or whatever they do, but uh, there's that. Uh, a couple other things I want to say before I get to the seals. Um, these came in and I was like, what is this? So this is mostly AliExpress stuff I ordered, but uh, I was looking through there. I'm trying to look through tracking. I'm trying looking through. I'm like, I don't remember ever even buying these, but they do look familiar, you know, but you guys know I bought a ton of seals recently. So then it, it occurred to me, I'm like, oh, that's right. It's eBay because on eBay, for some reason, they sent me a $2 coupon off whatever I want. So I was like, oh, well, let me see. So these were $1.70 with the handle and everything, $1.70 each. And so I picked up two so I can get over two bucks. So and they came in really fast. And they are from China. I know they came in from China with the tracking and everything. So if I have the link for this, especially for eBay, because eBay are more consistent, right, than like AliExpress, I'll have it in the description box also. So this one was a little butterfly stamp. And then this beautiful feather, which I think is awesome. Really nice size. So this is more of your typical size. And I'm going to keep this to a side because I want to show you about the size. Um, compared to these that came the uh, Harry Potter inspired ones that are ridiculous like a good size. So these came from this is the package it was huge and it was just all and like I said this store once I complain like what's taking so long because literally it's been like over a month and it wasn't it there wasn't any movement on the tracking um, all of a sudden oh you know they got it in gear and I got it like in a week so I think they just didn't ship it so if that helps. <laughs> And then it says for you. I'm like, oh, did they send me something? But no, they didn't send me anything free. So I don't know what this is about. But it's just telling me to give them a good review, basically. So it's a retro baby store. And that's what it said on AliExpress. And um, I pulled it up on my phone. And the only way I pulled it up on my phone without, you know, obviously having the link that I already had. Because I don't really like providing links here. I don't want to. Um, is it was in my suggestion. So if I went to AliExpress.com. And just say wax seals, and they always suggest a weird, bunch of weird stuff. I just kept going, and it was down here in my suggestions. Now, I don't see it this time, which is a bummer. So let me see if I can get back to that page I was at. Because every other wax seal that of the type that I'm going to show you right now, they want eight, nine dollars seven fifty for them, and I paid $1.70, guys. $1.70 each one. So let me go forward back to that store. And it looks like this. If you see... This is what it looks like in the search. So if you see one that looks like this, it looks like it has like these little seals and it'll tell you $1.70. So it's from 84 cents to $1.70 is because the different designs. And see, I already did my review there. But yeah, anywhere else, they're super much more money for whatever reason. So it's hard to find them. Even if you say, let's say wax seals and then go from shipping lowest, you know, price and shipping lowest to high or even Harry Potter or magical wax seals, like 
for some reason it always pops in the ones that cost more. So this is, again, Retro Baby Store. And hopefully you can find it um, that way. But let me pull these out real quick. And then I was like, oh, maybe they gave me this handle when it said for you. But no, one of the seals I bought came with a handle. And that one's actually the one that cost more. So most of them were $1.70, some were two ten. And then the one that came with the handle, I think it was five something. And I'm not sure why I ordered it that way. Maybe that was the only way they offered it. But other than that, I always just buy the stamp heads. And this is just clear wax. And I thought that was cool. So I hadn't seen that in another store. So I got a little pack of clear wax. I think these were two fifty. So I was looking through this. And I don't know what happened. I ordered 16, I think. And they sent me 17 heads. So one of them was free, I guess. And maybe that's why I said for you. But I don't know which one, okay? So I didn't go through and like specifically because there's so many. I was just like, I'm not going to sit here. They all look like something I would have ordered. But I think it was probably another Hogwarts seal because I'm pretty sure I didn't order so many of those because I already have one. Plus, there's three more in here. So I think I had ordered two. And they gave me a, a third one for free. So I'll just show them to you as best I can. Oh, that's the reason I had popped up the the app because I wanted to be able to show you guys these better but ugh, okay so what I want to show you is this is your standard head and look how much bigger these guys are they're huge compared to this right and for a really great price so there was another company that was offering like a certain amount off when you paid so much so they were kind of close in price even though these said $1.70 to begin with but anyway so this is the seal for it goes this way for Slytherin. I don't know if you can see that. So it has a nice seal on the outside and then it says Slytherin with a snake. I was gonna try to match these up so that we can see them all. Cause I did buy, there's like two or three different designs of each seal. So there's like the one that's like on my ring. There's more of like a crest. There's like all these different ones. This one's Hufflepuff. As you can see, it's kind of like the Slytherin one where it has like the little decoration on the outside, like a crest, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. That one's Hufflepuff. This one says Hogwarts. And it's just a really nice seal with a nice um, kind of ribbon at the top. And then it's a little motto down there at the bottom. I think there's another Hogwarts one. This one does not have that top part and it's slightly different. So that's something, when you're looking at them, just really pay attention to, they show you what it looks like in the wax. They have the seal and then like the wax next to it so you can see what it looks like. Oh, this one's cool. I just added more and more because basically by the time it was free shipping or something, I don't know. So this one says DA, which... Um, I guess for Albus Dumbledore, obviously. And then it has his name there on the edges. Really cute. Uh, this one's Gryffindor. As you can see, it's more of just like the seal or crest. I don't know which one, I guess. And then it has like the lion there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm looking at it. I guess I should look in the camera. That way we can see that for sure. Uh, this one is another Gryffindor, but see, this one's more like the first ones I showed you where it has like the decoration around the outside and then it has like a crest in the middle. So they're slightly different. I know they're hard to see, I'm sorry, but that's, you know, I'm just showing you. I have them here, basically. This is another Hogwarts. And this one's different from the first few I showed. And the, it's just a, not the crest, it's a little bit different. Uh, Gryffindor, another one's more like a crest. And um, hopefully, I'm gonna try to stamp this one because it doesn't have a lot of detail to it, but it's supposed to be in there. It looks like a lion, kind of like that, so we'll see. Maybe I'll stamp this one, because I want to make sure that it actually stamps well. Again, you got your Deathly Hallows. Pretty cool. Uh, this is the Owl Post Service. And this one's all over um, AliExpress, if you see this one. You might find it. This is the one I paid five bucks for, and it came with the thing. I, I didn't see it any cheaper than that, even with this store that sells for $1.70. Oh, this one, I was like, oh, I had to get Ministry of Magic approved. <laughs> So it has that there, Such evil people there. Look at that. Um, this one says Hufflepuff, and it's again, it's more just like the crest. I don't know if you can see that. This one's Ravenclaw. Uh, oh, we haven't come across a Ravenclaw one yet, right? So this is again, it's just like the crest. We have um, Ravenclaw. Like I said, when I was kind of going through them, I kind of tried to put them together. Again, this is the one with the decoration on the outside with the little crest in the middle. Uh, just, it's just your Slytherin, your little snake. Looking super cool. And the last one I have here is also Slytherin. And again, it's just like the crest. So like I said, they have a few different designs. You'll see them all over there. Um, let me get some colors together. 
you know what I said? I said I was gonna try the wax stick where you just melt it right where you light it. So I'm gonna try to find wax sticks like that and I'll get some other little pieces just so we can try a few out and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I have um, this little candle holder from the Dollar Tree with a candle in it. I think I remember mentioning in the last video, last review that one of my sets came with this little candle and it's so tiny. This is actually the same size as the tea lights that they give you at the Dollar Tree. So there's just a small, like half the thickness of this candle. Um, but they are the same from this Dollar Tree. Anyway, I just put this one on top. It actually holds it up a little better, so that's kind of nice. It's just a tea light that came in one of these kits. And this is the initial kit I ever got. Um, and this one also has a Harry Potter uh, seal. So you can buy the, excuse me, in kits or just, you know, the seals by themselves or like I showed you just the head. Oh my gosh, if you already have a handle, why is this so hard to get out? So there's that one. But this also has some wax sticks in it, but these are the kind that you cut up. They don't have a... Um, a uh, wick and then it came with a spoon so you can melt some of your things and then it also comes with um, some tea lights so I already have the things set up that I would need I'm going to go ahead and put these on craft mat you can do this on wax paper and then you can just uh, take those off and uh, after you make your seals if you want to make them this way then you would stick them down with glue okay whenever you are ready to put them on a card or a note or something you want to give your friend or whatever um you would do it that way so i'm gonna take this craft mat it's just i don't know cheap craft mat and i separated out some of my colors with like the colors of the school of that particular um house right so hufflepuff has yellow and black and ravenclaw's got the blue and silver and they're off the, to the side here, so you can't see it, but I have them all set up. I have Gryffindor over here with some burgundy. I couldn't really find burgundy and gold, so or burgundy. So I, these look burgundy, so we're just going to pretend that is, or like a wine color. Um, I did want to show you those. I have all those different colors because of those other little packs that I got a long time ago or in the last review or haul. So one of them only had one piece of silver, so that's kind of funny. So I had to like look in between the two bags, and I found the colors I needed. And then for... Um, I guess this little Slytherin symbol or like that snake. Um, I'm going to burn the green wick from this one, okay? So we haven't done that yet and people were curious about that. So for right now, let's get this set up. And this had a little cover on its um, attachment there, so that was kind of nice. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with this. I think I'm just gonna cut it, get that out. And so all you do is you screw this onto the head. You can just drop the head right on there. It's not. It, as nice you pretty much want a handle I, I would go ahead and get a handle or cheap guys it depends on what you pick but the handles are pretty cheap and some of them like I said come with a handle anyway okay so I'll put that to the side and let's burn a green one and then we'll put that little mean guy on there so again it has a wick and I'm just gonna take this cheap lighter things from the Dollar Tree and that wick is really long I probably should have cut it down because now we're gonna have to wait for that to burn but that's okay <laughs> get it closer try to light the whole thing and basically what you're going to do with this is obviously the wax is going to start melting as you can see and so you're what you want to do and hope i don't know it's kind of hard to see is let it just drip in one spot see you get that little drop that just fell so you can just turn it and turn it and turn it until it starts only dripping where you want it and it's gonna be hard to tell I do like the consistency of this wax. It's really nice. And a lot of people say they prefer this because then you don't have to clean out your spoon. You don't have any waste or mess. But I'm just slowly turning this and making sure that the wax is melting. And I guess if you wanted to just stay in one spot, you can do that. But turning it, to me, just makes it um, melt nicer. As you can see, I'm getting a little puddle there. And I'm not moving it around. I'm just kind of turning it in the same spot. And then obviously it's going to drip away because it's... A molten material right and I feel like we're gonna need a lot for this guy what's interesting about this is that you don't you think and I always think it's drying as you're doing this right the part that's underneath starting to solidify but I guess if you keep adding melted wax to it you know and just turn it slowly I was probably turning it too fast at the beginning there and hopefully you can see that it's just making a nice little mound so this is really nice way of doing this and this is the typical old school way well as we know it <laughs> excuse me this is real time guys so it's taking a minute 
I feel like that flame's getting a lot lower. Hopefully it doesn't blow out on me. There it goes. Hey, when I said that, it kind of lit up a little more. Oh, there goes my AC. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I still have the AC. Well, not, that's not true. It's like 9 now. But it's been so hot. Oh, it went out. Okay, you know what? That might be good enough, though. I don't know, actually. No. I feel like I still need more. This is... Well, I'm going to stop. But it did go out. Obviously, you can light it again and it just keep going. I'm just going to set it up over here and get my seal and place it right down in there. Like I said, this is a really big stamp. But I'm just pushing it right down in there and I'm going to leave it alone. While we're doing that, while we're leaving that alone, actually, I can't even do anything yet. Okay, I'm just going to come back in like a minute or so and then we'll uh, reveal the stamp. Okay, it hasn't been too, too long, but I think it's probably ready. Aww. So it was too little, as you can see. Um, I got the dye in there, but obviously I need more over here on this side, but that's okay. I mean, they're perfectly imperfect, right? Let's see here. That's pretty cool. I do like that green. It's really nice, and it has a nice um, feel to it. Let me try to focus on there. So, their colors are usually like green and silver, and since we want that to pop a little bit, I'm just taking this cheap silver pen. Again, it's Metallic's Craftwork pen, it says. I think I got it at Daiso. You can find... Oh, actually... Ooh, it reminds me. I don't know where my receipt is. I'm going to return a lot of these Sharpies I picked up the other day. But they have uh, Sharpies that are metallic. I just want to show this to you real quick. You can buy a whole set. And I didn't know how much they were. And I think they were 9 bucks even at Walmart. So all these colors are metallic. So you got your primary colors and then uh, bronze, gold, and silver. So you can find these, the metallic ones. They have all these different sets. These were on clearance, actually. So I'm keeping this. They're only 7 bucks, But, um... Anyway, so it's just the same kind of thing, like a Sharpie alcohol, alcohol marker that's uh, metallic. And I'm just going to go over sideways using my brush tip or the tip of the pen sideways. And I think that'll be good. Now that kind of makes that pop. And you have your little school colors there. Really cool. So obviously it works great. Let me take this head off. And I'm going to put on, let's say... Our Gryffindor one. This is the one I said it looks kind of weird. The detail on it looks not too much. Like it's not done too well here in this area. Can you see that? Can you even tell that that's like a lion or whatever? You guys can correct me on this. Is it supposed to be a lion or is it supposed to be like a griffin? Hmm. I'm already a griffin with a Gryffindor. Okay. So this one's weird because I do have some white in here already. I'm just going to leave it because it's only white. But I do have two uh, little gold nuggets and two burgundy nuggets. And I'm going to try to keep them separate like this. And I might even need more than this because you saw that. It's a big seal. But I'm just going to do four because I'm uh, frugal as it is. <laughs> and we'll see. Hopefully that works out. But I'm just going to put this here. And then we put it in our little spoon. Again, this spoon came in that kit. But this is basically just like a teaspoon. It doesn't get hot either. So that's what I like as far as the handle doesn't get hot. I'm going to try to lay this out a little better so it melts faster. So all you do is put on here and just kind of you can give it a little swirl if you want or just leave it sitting there. It gets hot anyway on its own. It's already melting. Um, the white that was in there before I can see is melting already and the burgundy is already melting really easy. So that's really nice. So that's kind of why I like to kind of roll it around just to get everything going. I don't know if I'm going to sit here and show every single one. I'll probably just come back when I've done them because it's the same thing. I'm just going to put the four little nuggets in the spoon here. Or maybe I'll do it kind of fast forward. I know people said they like watching this, so that way you don't have to hear me chit-chatting over. I'll just have some nice music. Do you see that? It's already melting down. Super cool. I like that white in there. That accent actually looks good. Hopefully this is enough. It looks like quite a bit. <clears throat> and I guess if you really wanted to, if you had a tool like a tweezer or a pokey tool or anything else, you can kind of mess with this. But I, I, I would just leave it alone. <laughs> but if you want to kind of push this down in there so it starts getting closer to the what's melted. Okay, it's starting to sizzle, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and use it, even though that burgundy one in the middle doesn't look like it's quite ready. And 
And, oh my gosh, how am I going to pour this? I want the, all the colors to show up, so I really want it. Try to get as much out as I can. But see, that's what we were saying. Sometimes there's some waste in here because you end up with quite a bit still in here. Let's take our seal. And that was good. I think four is good. Look at that. I did miss this back corner again. Ah, uh, what a bummer. It's already solidifying. I can't even move it. Um, you know, another one, that back corner didn't get much coverage. And that's me eyeballing it. I should have pushed it down more this way, but that's okay. Look at all that's coming out on this side and there's nothing over here. Anyway, let's just wait a little bit. And I'm going to clean this up. In the meantime, let me go grab something to clean this. I guess I just ran out of paper towels and I don't want to go to the other room to get them. So I'm just going to clean off the back because it got some soot on it. And this is really hot, you guys. And I was going to throw this towel away anyway because it's old. Uh, I'm going to wipe out the inside. And you, like I said, you don't have to do this, but there it goes. And it's clean. So not the biggest deal. Ew. <laughs> I got this towel from the sink and it had a little oatmeal on it. All right. <laughs> let's see here. Um, let's see if this is ready. Ooh, oh, that's so pretty. I'm not going to pick it off quite yet because I feel like it's still a little soft underneath, but I will get this off of here. I'm going to do the other two houses and I'll do that with the music over it so you guys can watch it still if you'd like. And, um, and then I'll show you them all at the end.
Okay guys, what I was trying to show you is that the wax was melting in this already just when I put it in there, the black and yellow wax because it's still super hot even right now. So let's try to get these guys off of here. I don't think I'm going to color them in like the silver because it already has gold. I guess I could put more gold. Maybe I will. So this is the um, Gryffindor one and it actually does look pretty cool. I'll have to get some better pictures for you guys because this is hard to see. Ugh. Maybe I'll color it and then with the gold pen and I'll show it to you guys later. And here we have Ravenclaw and looks great. And then the last one that I just finished up is our Hufflepuff. And it's still kind of stuck down but I'm going to take it off because i got to take my son to school. And let me see how do I show you this one. This one's hard to see because of the colors I guess but where is it? I'll try to get some pictures. So I will probably try to do some silver or some gold over this so you can see it better. But they all worked out great. Really fun. Really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. If I have links or those other things I mentioned, I will have those in there for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.